magnetic fluid inside of the struts and whenever you switch your modes tour sport and track the fluid magnetizes and it pulls to stiffen or soften up your dampening which is crazy technology by chevy it's just the issue is they keep freaking blowing <laughs> and it's like bro like i I'm not about to pay <laughs> X amount of money just to get a stock part that I know is going to blow again. This will be the third time replacing them. So, well, not third time, but this will be the third set on the car. Obviously, the first set that came with the car and the second set that got warrantied out. And now here we are again out of warranty with 45,000 miles and it's blown again, which is crazy work crazy work because I had to have got that done like 20,000 miles ago not even not even exaggerating I'm pretty sure I got that done 20,000 miles ago bro it's crazy so that being said your boy is is kind of torn man because I don't I don't really know which way to go from here there's two options really there's three but there's two solid options that I'm looking at right so option number one get BC Racing coilovers and just go nice stiff suspension but also have the car sitting way better or B go with some Viking long travel shocks now them joints the Viking long travel joints are hella beneficial to racing you know what I'm saying when I'm getting off the line at the track it's gonna allow the car to really squat putting all the weight of the car on those back two tires and try to help it hook. I'm leaning a little more towards that one. <laughs> and then the third option, the third option, which is not really like an option that I'm really entertaining for real, for real, but it is an option, is to throw bags on the car. Now you guys know me, I love my bags. I really do, I really do. When they're installed properly, them joints are a dream, bro. But when they're not installed properly, well then they're a headache. You know what I'm saying? A nightmare, if you will. So that being said, that's why, and then plus added weight. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to add weight to the car. If anything, I'm trying to take weight out of the car so that when we're racing and we're running at the track, we can be as light as possible. So it's like bags aren't really ideal for what I'm doing with this car. That's why it's like, yes, it's an option, but it's not an option where I'm like kind of torn between saying yes or no like i'm kind of leaning toward no <laughs> but you know how that goes man it's like so yeah man i'm not a thousand percent sure what route i want to take bro for real for real i'm just keeping it a buck i really want to go with the viking joints because at the end of the day it's going to help me get off the line it'll help me get out the hole a lot faster which will help with my time overall, help my 60 foot, which I ain't gonna lie, I've been trying to get my 60 foot better anyway. But then it's like BC Racing coilovers, I've had them on my G35, they ride amazing, you know what I'm saying? And you know, they're adjustable. I'd be able to lower the car, get it to that perfect fitment for the wheels, and it would look amazing. With all the carbon fiber on the ground arrow kits, like the front splitter, the side skirts, and soon to be the fuser, like it's gonna look phenomenal. But then at the end of the day, coilovers themselves are also a headache. It's like, if you don't get it set perfectly, you gotta keep going back and readjust and take the wheel off, adjust, put the wheel back on, drop the car, see if it's sitting right. If it ain't, raise it back up, take the wheel off, do it again. That was a headache, and that is exactly why I went bags with Mamba. So, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What y'all think, man? Should I just stick with function, you know what I'm saying, and, and go with the Viking shocks, just do them joints all around the front and rear, or, or should I go ahead and go, you know what I'm saying, the classy route? get the looks dialed in you feel me i don't know because originally your boy
boy was really gonna say screw it and throw some Eibach lowering springs on the magnetic rod struts and just call it a day, bro. I can't lie. That's what I was gonna do, but at the end of the day, I was told that throwing the lowering springs on the car are gonna hinder my 60 foot and not help my 60 foot. So that's why I haven't done it yet. So I don't know, bro, because at the end of the day with the Eibach lowering springs, the car is gonna sit nice. It will. Um, if I get the sport lines, I believe is what it's called, it'll sit mad low, which would be dope. But my 60 foot, you know, at the end of the day, I need my 60 foot times to be on point because that's like the very beginning of the race. That's what's, you know what I mean? It's very imperative that the 60 foot and, and, the, and the launch are perfect because they really are gonna dictate the race. I know the transmission and the motor are gonna do their job on the top end, but getting out of that hole, I need to help them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. What would y'all do? Would y'all do the Viking joints? Would y'all do the BC racing coilovers? Or would y'all throw bags on the car? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. I feel like the bags would be crazy because bag six gens, they just look so good to me. I can't lie. Bag six gens go wild. They really do. Seeing a six gen on the floor is crazy work. But I don't know. I don't know if if this is the right car to do it to, bro. I, I really don't. You know what I mean? Maybe down the line, I buy another 6 Gen, a 2SS or something, make it a show car, buy some bags. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. Um, so that's why I'm bringing it up to you guys. You know what I mean? I want to see where you guys' head is at. So drop a comment in the comment section down below. What would you do if this was your car? Or would you go back to OEM? Like, well, not even OEM. Would you go back to OE? Would you go back to the original <laughs> magnetic ride suspension again? <laughs> or would you upgrade? Y'all let me know in the comments, man, because I'm very curious, because I really personally, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I can't lie. This Cadillac in front of us is a crazy purple, bro. Like, that purple is hidden. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but damn. It's like, it's player because when the sun's not hitting it, it looks black. But when the sun hits it, you can see that purple hit. That's, that's crazy work. But yeah, man, y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go fill up on some E85 real quick and then head into work, bro. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this outro and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video and drop a comment, man. Let's go ahead and roll the outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.